Hi, Delaware and friend, it's Miss Sabrina, and we're back with another craft. Today we're doing uh, another elephant craft because we're learning about the jungle animals. So what you guys will need for this craft is a paper plate. Um, Miss Sabrina couldn't find gray paint, so either a gray marker or a gray crayon so that you can color your white paper plate gray to match the elephant. You will need scissors to cut the paper plate. Make sure your parent or adult helps you. You will need googly eyes. And if you don't have googly eyes like me, you can draw eyes on a piece of paper, cut them out, put tape on the back of them so that you can tape them down. Oh, the tape got stuck to my hand. <laughs> okay, and you will need tape. <laughs> okay, so once you have your paper plate, you are going to cut Right? So you're gonna have your plate straight. Mr. Bruno right cut it and connected it. So let's just pretend this is what the plate looks like, right? You're gonna get your scissor and you're going to cut like straight down, straight down and like a circle. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the bottom and then you're gonna keep those pieces and you're going to tape those two pieces together to make the, the trunk of the elephant. Cool, right? So then you're left with two sides and the face. So this is his ears on the side and then the middle is his face. Miss Sabrina's plate is just a little different. So I couldn't get the middle to be like a perfect circle, but that's okay. So what you're gonna do is take oh, your gray paint, your gray marker or your green crayon, your gray crayon, and you're going to color the whole paper plate. Make sure you get everything you don't want to see no white. You want to see everything gray. Make sure you get everything. And it will be definitely easier with paint. But like I said, if you do not have any, it's totally fine. You can use a gray crayon or a gray marker. So once you color the whole paper plate and the whole trunk gray, it's kind of hard to see it, but it's gray. You are going to hold your plate in place where you want the elephant's trunk. I want the elephant's trunk right here. So Miss Sabrina, ah, it's stuck. <laughs> I'm going to tape it down. Sometimes tape this, like this paper plate I have is a little thicker. So hopefully it sticks down. If not, you can always use a stapler to staple it down. Let's see. Oh, it sticks. Yay, see? So now that is your elephant trunk and his ears and his over here. So now you're gonna take the little googly eyes that you have or the paper eyes that you cut out and you're going to place them on your elephant's face wherever you would like. I'll place that one here. <gasps> and there you go, there's your cool elephant. You can add whatever you want. You can maybe make like a bow out of a piece of paper and like you could put it in the corner to make it pretty or you could, you know, give it some earrings or give it like a little smile. But I'm gonna leave mine like this because I think it looks pretty cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed that super simple, easy craft with a paper plate and make a really cool elephant. Make sure you guys send over your cool pictures of your elephant. Bye, Jolene and friends. Love you guys.